Hello everyone, in our today's short video I'm going to talk about Semantic Scholar. It is a free, as you can see here, free AI powered research tool for scientific literature and it has access more than 200 million papers from all fields of science. I definitely recommend creating an account on this website and I will show you why you will need it because we can save articles into our folders and we will see that in a moment. So let us type some keywords. I am going to type climate change, human mobility. I always like to do that way. Try to keep the keywords as short as possible because then Semantic Scholar will show me more results. And of course we can go through all these papers one by one and decide whether we need them to add our library. So, how we can do that, you can check the name of the article, you can click on them. When you click on them, you can see the name, you can access via um, the publisher house as well. But you can also save the paper to your um, library. So, for example, this article in my library already, I created the test library folder, you can see that in a moment. So, when we click on that, as you can see here, pops up a menu. Here we can create an another, another new folder, but I'm going to add this to the test folder that, that I already created. And then hit on save and close. And if we go to library, and again, if we go to the test, as you can see, this article is already here. Here, what we can also do, we can use site and we can copy it here. Also, we can export it as bib text. Then we can include that import that bib text into our, for example, if you are using the Zotero, I use Zotero and I can import there as well. And you can select the citation styles here as well. So MLA, APA and Chicago. Only three of them are here. And then what we can do more with the results we have here we can use the filters we can select the field of study you can basically select the the domain the the discipline that you are doing your research you can arrange the date here you can click on this has pdf and then after that the semantic scholar will, will only show the article which has pdf but there's a drawback of it because it will miss out uh, in those articles which doesn't have pdf maybe but maybe those those articles could be relevant for our research i'll i sometimes let's say uh, use it but of course i also do check those articles without pdf you can also arrange author you can arrange the journals and conferences and also you can sort by relevance, citation count most influential papers and recency so that's basically semantic scholar it's a nice tool it's free if you don't want to pay for other fancy or other features that other paid premium AI tools offer. Then you can go for Semantic Scholar. It's a nice tool. But apart from that, um, for many creators, many AI startups like um, Consensus, Sourcely, Yomu AI, Research Rabbit, many AI tools also use the database of the semantic scholar so when you do basically a research on those tools they retrieve articles from the database of the semantic scholar please always do mind that as well so that's basically it if you like this video please hit that like button that will be very helpful and thank you in advance for that and if you like to see more videos from my channel check my channel and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future thank you for your attention